We're going to place a DO composite in tooth number 31 using the custom matrix technique with the foolproof separator. This will allow you to create unbelievably lifelike anatomy while doing it very easily and simply. The first step is after anesthetizing the patient to put on a matrix band. This happens to be a Toffelmeyer. It's the easiest one to get on. And just tighten it up normally. Then we're going to inject inside this matrix band a clear polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material. This actually goes very quickly since it's a very small impression. And after we're through getting all the surface detail on this tooth and the embrasures, we're going to take a mylar strip and make a smooth surface. This mylar strip is not meant to force the material into the tooth, but is meant to make a flat surface so that we can apply even pressure to this custom matrix later on when we're compressing the composite and curing it through this clear, clear matrix. It takes about 45 seconds for this to set in the mouth. Outside of the mouth, it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, we'll speed this up just a little bit. The mylar strip comes right off. The matrix band comes right off. And right here is a clear custom matrix that we will use later on in allowing us to mold the composite to the exact shape of the occlusal anatomy and shine light through it, curing in the original anatomy without any composite finishing or polishing. Hard to believe? Just watch. We've cut our cavity preparation. We're now going to take a sectional matrix, place it in between the teeth, and wedge it as we normally would. Then we'll take our matrix clamp and clamp that. We're now going to take composite Now some composites allow you to fill this all at one time. I usually fill it in two increments. I condense the first increment. And we'll light cure it. Now we're going to place our second increment and we don't want to place a lot more composite than we need because that means we're going to have to carve away composite later on in the procedure. So you probably think I haven't placed enough composite there. I've actually placed more than enough composite. I'll condense that and while I condense it I'll remove away composite that I think is excess. I'm now going to take a piece of Teflon tape and place it over the unset composite. And then I'm going to take my custom matrix and place it back on the tooth and put pressure on this with my finger while I force the composite into the original shape of the tooth. The Teflon tape allows me to 
remove the tape and then see any excess composite and remove that. So I'm looking for any flash. I see very little. There is some flash here, but I'm removing that. Now I've removed all the flash. I'm going to take my custom matrix again, put it back on the tooth. Again, put pressure on the custom matrix with my finger, about five pounds of pressure for five to ten seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead, put pressure on it as I cure through it, curing in the original shape, contour, and occlusion that this patient was familiar with when he or she walked in the door. If I've done this correctly, there will be no finishing, shaping, or polishing. This patient will have exactly the same contours that he or she was comfortable with when they walked in the operatory door. Right now, it's the proof of the pudding. I'm gonna stop the curing And now let you see this surface, which is hard and smooth. I'm going to take an explorer, and I hope you can see how hard and smooth this composite is. There might be a little bit of flash there, not much. But notice how the composite flows from tooth to composite with no catch. Now I want you to be able to see what this looks like. So I'm going to try to get a close-up view of this. Imagine if your composite looked like this after curing you will save five to ten minutes of chair time on every composite that you place by using this technique. Can you imagine after curing a composite, your composite is as smooth and as well contoured as this one is? Yes, I know it's hard to believe. When was the last time he placed the large posterior composite? And after light curing, there was no shaping, finishing, polishing, or adjusting. You will save five to ten minutes on every composite that you place with this technique.